This is a program that we made for our schools and our mentored students to use at Christmas time as a video card. You can see it's a relatively simple program in coding. It uses a light B wing FM with only one drone at this point. It is about 40 seconds long and geared towards putting music and or dance at the mid stage. <clears throat> You'll see the drone will take off and go to 200 centimeters and then do a bounce or dance and then it will go across stage behind the performers and do another bounce or dance and then it will land. So you just saw that so now we'll run through it with the program. On the program on the right, you'll see the messages there that give you the cues on how to read the code. <clears throat> the first thing you must do is message number one it says you must hit the green flag and it will compile the program. Then it depends if you want the simulator to run or if you want the drone to run. So to simulator, you go down to the bottom and hit the simulator button and the simulator would come off and at that point you have to do the settings with the right setting button. I happen to like a black screen, so you'll see <coughs> a black screen there. And after that you have to go back to the coding one and hit the button to uh, send the program. In my case, or in this case here, the up arrow. So once you hit the up arrow, <coughs> you're ready to start the, the program. Okay. Go back to the simulator, and you'll see that the drone has appeared on the simulator. Then you have to look at the buttons down at the bottom, and you'll see that they're not there yet, but you press preview, which is the only button that is there, and it will go through one time the program. After that, it'll come down, you do a reset, and all of your other buttons will appear, including the dialog box up on the left. At this point, then, you can run the program as many times as you want. You just have to make sure you hit the reset and then the play button. We've demonstrated most before in a couple videos we made in the last couple weeks. You have a pause there if you want to pause it to figure out where in the code you're at. You'll see message 2 on there tells you also where you're at in the program. That would be the right side of the stage. That stays right, okay? And then <coughs> you can stop this if you're ready to fly. You must have your carpet set up behind you. In our case, you see the problem is that we have a small studio space. Therefore, we need a focal length of the camera, uh, the, the um, focus, and so on all set and ready to go based on the distance of from your talent and your screen and you well, in our case we put behind us the carpet therefore we have to fold this carpet uh, quite a little bit to get it where it would fit into this studio space and then at this point you can close or keep the simulator um, minimized if you want and you want to start the program so when you start the program you would have to make sure that your drone is turned on put in the right place at the start location on the carpet and then you put it facing away from you okay so you see the tail end of it and you'll see the tail light the tail light when you turn it on will start blinking and then it will turn from green to blue. So when it's ready, solid on blue, it's ready to fly. So at that point, 
then you would start the run button and hopefully your drone will follow uh, the pattern that you set up. Uh, in our case, we lucked out. Uh, it did follow, it had a few glitches, and you'll see that sometimes there's a little bit of difference between the simulator and your program. Ours did not do quite as much bounce as we want, so we're going back and tweak the program to make it a little bit more distinct to uh, uh, see the bounce or the dancing or put in, uh, we'll probably end up putting in a circle. It was a circle around uh, above the dancer. If you have two drones, you can put in two circles with one drone higher up uh, than the other. So at this point, you can insert other figures. Uh, you'd have to make a block for that. You can copy and paste blocks from other people's work, or you can make your own. Yeah, on the program there, you'll see uh, an area where you can actually make your own blocks. So that's what we recommend doing, especially for the start, because there's a lot of work just getting started. So make a block to uh, start your uh, different uh, parts of the program. So that's pretty much it. We're going to run it one more time, and then you can go back and look at the results of this with Feliz Navidad and with um, uh, Jingle Bells. Light turned white, now turned red, so mostly white, red, and green for Christmas here. You can see the starting location, the bounce here. That's 150 to 200. Back to 150. Across stage to right stage to marker number 30. Again, the bounce, 150 to 200. Back to 150. And it's going to land. Now it lands. And we do a reset. And we're going to end the program.